I'd like to give a massive shout out to the support from my patrons. If it wasn't for you guys contributing to my work, I wouldn't be able to make these videos. Thank you so much. It's feedback gaming. Welcome back for another mid maxing super video in Kaiserreich. So, uh, if you do enjoy these kind of videos, I need you to vote on this video by clicking the like button. And also, I want you to comment below of any other mods or any of the countries in Kaiserite you'd like me to mid max. All right, first of all, you have two focuses that are no brainers. There's no reason why you shouldn't do them. And first is matters of the state, give me PP. And also foreign affairs, which gives you more PP and war support, which this one is only 35 days. So let's do this one to begin with. What else did I go for? It was construction. And uh, you'll see in a second why. So what we're going to do to begin with is I have timed this just right. And two infrastructure is a good thing to start with and then move on to civilian factories. Why civilian factories? You don't have a lot of resources as the Ottomans. So you're better off making civilians to import more resources into the country to fuel the military factories that you've got. So one of the shitty things about playing as the Ottomans is you do get a lot of events that fire that hurt your political power. You do get some positive ones too. Black Monday has happened. Oh boy. Okay, so the first war is these two babies. We've got the Saudis versus the Rashids. So what we're going to do to begin with is we are going to send them a thousand guns. And we are going to send them an artillery per month. Foreign Affairs is the next one. It's only 35 days. Gives you some PP and gives you some war support. Alright, the first thing we are going to do is just grind XP. And we're going to negotiate the payment. At this point, there's not much point having a very large army in the rear. So what we'll do is just disband some of them. And then that should be good. I did say early on that we build two infrastructure, and that two infrastructure is finished. In this instance, maybe three infrastructure would be the way forward. All right, we've got our close air support now. We're going to replace those, put them here, drag that one up one, and there we go. Oh, no, the prince's wife is dead. Wow. And we get an F in the chat, guys. Now we can go for our education reform. Yeah, it is. Education reforms, minus 5% research time. Um, okay, so we didn't sort our navy, did we? Oh, actually, it's automatically sorted out for me. That's so cute. So we're aiming to go for the 40 combat width. If you've not already gathered, that's what we're doing. And we're also going to add on artillery as well. The Sultan, whatever is dead. Rest in peace. F in the chat, guys. We need radio. I've forgotten we need radio. Eid. Concentrate industry. Superior firepower is done. And now at this point, we can go for the economic incentives. And the reason why we do this is we can rush concentrate industry 3 is one of my favorite strategies to do it in Hoi 4. Is we're looking for the Balkan Pact forming. Aha, it's the Cairo Conference. This is the trigger that the Egyptians are going to be turning on you and try and form a coalition against you. One of the big issues with desert combat is you lose a lot of equipment. All right, can we possibly attack their capital? We want to knock out Serbia because Serbia is the lead faction member. They're all relatively small power wise. So much micromanagement needs to be done right now. So this is the plan, boys. We are going to try and push into Nis, go all the way north, and then jump over the river and grab Belgrade, and that'll knock them out of the war. While in the south, we are going to use our horses and push further south. <gasps> Bulgaria! He's currently at war. Just need to wait for our field marshal to get back, and then we are good to go. We're going to offer an alliance for Bulgaria. There is a very small chance they say no. Please don't say no. They accept. They accept. You want to some artillery? I'll accept your artillery. How are they doing in the north? Not very good. <clears throat> to explain what we're going to try and do here, we are going to try and take this land from Greece out of this peace agreement. Bulgaria can take Serbia, can take Romania. I'm totally cool with that. There's nothing that they've got that we desperately need anyway. But what we need from Greece is this steel, tungsten, and that aluminium. All these three states. If we can take those three and have nothing else, we've won. All right, go. Now, we don't want you to attack here. No, that's not what we want. I want you guys to stop. Press H to stop, and we can do a control click to push. Yeah. It looks like we can just walk around them here. Yeah. This is ideally how we want to do this. There we go. Okay, so we have an option now to renegotiate Austrian payments. We can offer consumer goods for a period of time. We can offer a one-off payment. Just maybe it's still consumer goods. Or we can just basically say to them, we default. What this does, if you default, is it gives them a casus belly on us to an event where they can declare war on us. Honestly, I recommend doing the bottom one. So I'm just going to default. And then we just walk around. This is the ultimate strategy, guys, of Hearts of Iron 4, where you, uh, you don't attack the enemy. You just walk around them. Like they have joined the Cairo Pact. We helped you in that civil war, and then you're turning it against us. <gasps> have you left your capital, your Nis, open? 
This is perfect because all we need now is Belgrade and then we've got it. This is a tricky war to win, I must admit. This is not one of those wars, it's just a freebie. We're going to move over. We've got the artillery buff. That's a good point too. You could have researched that a little bit earlier as well. That's something nice to know. We're going to get the better guns. Move you guys over and here we go. Looks like we've done a little bit of damage to them by pushing them out of the way too. Good. And for the most part, I think we should get a lot of war score here to make do a lot of damage. Multiple combats and they're dead. Perfect. Okay, that went not as smoothly as I like. In some of my test runs, I did manage to puncture through Serbia and take them out at lightning speed. But in this instance, it uh, went mostly effectively. Yay! We did it. So we gained a lot of war, war score from that. Uh, they got, they didn't get as much. So remember, the 3D places we want to get are going to be here, here, and here. All right, so you guys are going to be positioned on this front. My 30 horse army, we are going to exercise you. We're going to position them one north of Sam. I changed my mind, it's just north of Sam. We're actually going to go in Sam. Position our artillery dudes just here. Okay, so we have an event here called the Annexation of Greece. Um, you click it and you can basically occupy Greece. That's all you need to do. When we conquer all of Egypt, Arabia, and other areas around here, um, we will get ourselves a lot more military factories. Tripotelitania has joined the Cairo Pact, and they are no longer a puppet. Okay, and if you have excess guns, I'd recommend training more cavalry. We only have room for two more, so it'll just be two more. We add those onto your army here, and as soon as they're ready, deploy them. We are going to go for improved machine tools. Why? Because one of the big issues with the Ottomans is you suffer from a massive pay penalty to your max efficiency cap. So you need to research technology to try and push it higher. Jewish immigrants from Algeria. My advice is to accept them because otherwise you're losing political power. And political power is really important to you. I think integrated support is a better option for how we're playing. I understand that our artillery infantry is our strongest offensive abilities. Our, our strongest offensive capabilities but the problem is you've got to get this research which is more than likely useless which takes a year just less than a year and then get this one where well, this one just gives the flexibility of making all our divisions better plus giving us more organization so my honest opinion is to go for this one but the problem is this mobile defense isn't that great honestly and it's probably better off to spread out our research into other areas ottoman army is now complete at this point we just don't do anything we're gonna gain more political power happy eid everyone Government interception and our Black Monday is now decreasing as day time goes on. How are we doing? Oh, he's so close to destroying the Ottomans. So when he does that, then we'll be super prepared. And Black Monday has been removed, so it takes two years to remove. All right, everything is going smoothly. You guys here? Aha, what do we have here? Justifications from Egypt. So who is going to be part of the faction? So remember, I told you about Egypt. I told you about Tripolitania. I told you about Arabia. There's a possibility of Yemen, and there's also a possibility of a, of a rebel faction here. A rebel faction here. And there's also a possibility of Iran joining. I think we're going to go for the doctor's side because we have 50% boost, so it makes it worthwhile. That's good. Yemen has joined the war. You... These guys are already stranded in enemy territory, which is a little bit annoying. So I'm going to put you guys here. Oh, and they're stranded now, so they can't get out. But now we can technically move forward, I guess. Iran's joined the war. We've gained our surrender limit. We've also... Gain the Great Arab Revolt, which means we lose stability. Losing stability seems to be a, a pan this game, doesn't it? <clears throat> we have to click on top of our own provinces sometimes to stop them running away. And as you can see, look, oh, there's rebels that appear directly here. I wonder why I positioned the troops here, eh? Hey? Okay, so one thing you need to go for immediately is request arms from the Reich's Pact. This will give you guns, I believe. The Egyptians are slowly creeping forward. We're engaging their navy first, and we completely completely trashed their navy. That's perfect. Now we're good. We're good. Everything's good now. So good. Good. So good. This is a separate tile. Their capital is in a lake. Interesting. All right. So now we need to be in a position where we need to defend. I'd recommend trying to grab these mountains and rivers. There we go, we got you guys in position now, then we go for here, and then we go for staff office plan in all that juicy planning. They send us equipment. Has it resulted in more equipment? They've got all of this extra equipment, let's just wait another day. They've not really sent us that much. Is it only because... Oh, okay, well that state that we just formed here just instantly died. Nice to know. Alright, we are going to push into here, and then go. We've got max planning, so we are going to go. We are going to select one division though, and tell them to hold that guy in place. But ideally, we want to try and push them back. There we go, and then we've kind of encircled these guys here. Oh, it's beautiful when a plan to come together, isn't it? So beautiful. You guys are attacking into here. We're going to help him out. 
The reason I positioned the troops here is I wanted to lure out the AI to reach this point. Because if I try to push into here with a fort, with a large river, more than likely with high temperatures as well, getting over here is next to impossible. This guy's still stuck. Fort this guy. And then we broke across the river. And that's pretty much the hardest part done. Push into him, and then you guys are gonna go here. Oh, he's just joined the war now. Okay, perfect. Is there anything to select? I always like to go back in, so have a little skim through everything just to make sure. And the other guy is gonna. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, there's a lot of divisions here. And they've been pushed out of the way. Get out of the way. So, right now, we've captured the two cities, and at this point, they're really close to capitulating. I think, in all honesty, I want to occupy some uh, Tripolitania, so I think I'm just going to hold for the moment. This is technically Yemen territory, but even though they're... Oh, it doesn't actually matter, because we're not in their faction anyway, so it doesn't matter. We should be able to push these guys back. I'm pretty confident we should be able to. So all we need to do is occupy one tile of Tripolitania, and then we'll be able to annex them in the Peace Conference. Okay, so one extra little layer of this, one extra piece to unpack, is you've got some recapture events. Uh, recapture events just give you a bit of war support, and it's like moments of like oh we're put, turning the war around and we're pulling it back in our direction and if you do go for these you will get a little bit of a war support and we're going for the guns Ooh, is there any ships here no there's not okay so you can move if you wanted to you're gonna go here then you're gonna go here and then egypt how long you got oh did we actually manage to get them though yeah we did one tile and two tiles no just one tile there we go and then we've got pieced out all members of the faction so we've got all of arabia all the tripolitania all of Egypt. Well, we have to pass a few times. Gives me a little bit of... Upsets me a little bit inside. <laughs> Alright, you guys are going to go here. Move into position. Go, go, go. Lack of... Uh, the problem is breaking through these high temperatures, mountainous terrains. That's the biggest problem. Recapture of Basra. I'm sure we'll take extra war support. Alright, I'm going to move you guys to here. If we take that capital, it's pretty much going to be over anyway. This is mountains, and this is mountains, and extremely hot, and this is also a sandstorm. Sandstorms are terrible because they basically make your air force in that area useless. So there's two events here. Annexation of Libya. Oh, we actually get stability for that. Interesting. And the other one just disappeared on me. Okay. But it says it's still active. Oh, it's there. There we go. Uh, continue occupation. I am going to occupy all of Egypt. The reason why I'm being so aggressive against Yemen at this exact moment and not concentrating on Iran is because if we annex them now, we can actually completely annex them and not make them a puppet again. Because there is an event that fires, and it, it's like it's based on a timed event where if you haven't, if Yemen hasn't made any gains against you and taken broke you out of their core territory, then um, they'll just peace out and they'll go back to the status quo, beating your puppet. It was really weird. There was like a slight delay there, and then we've oh, and they've gone back to okay. So I guess there's a possibility that. If you take them out quickly, which I wasn't quick enough, you could annex them. But in this case, I didn't get that. That makes me sad, but whatever. Our presence in Yemen gains stability. So we're getting all that stability back that we lost when the uh, the Civil War event fired. Okay, is there anything to go for right now? I, I always like to check my national focus just to see if there's anything to go for. So you can do your political interests right now and dissolve Galvin. So just to give you the heads up of these event chains, <clears throat> there's two choices. You can go for the save, stable route. The shortest and quickest way of doing it is political interest, dissolve the parliament, eliminate all opposition, and enforce the autocracy. And at the very bottom here, you've got the option at late game to fight the corruption scandal, which is an investigation against your inner workings of intelligence agency that's been plotting against you. Okay, we are going to fabricate on Bulgaria right now. And we are going to counterattack against the Iranians as well. We're going to train an extra 10 divisions too. Ooh, 11. All right, so Baghdad is now going to be encircled, hopefully. And we have captured Baghdad. We gain an extra 3% support, and we also gain 10% extra, extra defense for 30 days. Alright, so there we go. We have uh, made the pocket in the north. Everyone can go and attack now. Go aggressive, and be aggressive, and go, 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 go. Recapture of Samara. Extra 3% war support. Adam. Oh man, that was just in time too. Like, perfectly timed. Alright, you guys are going to go, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Why is there 17 of you guys? Okay, we have annexation of Persia. We are going to occupy them. Oh, that's so weird. So, they've demanded this state. This is something I said two episodes back. There's a, an event chance, which seems to happen randomly. I'm not sure if it's around about this stage, or sometimes it's later, but they'll ask for this state here. They have a claim on this state. We can basically have into them, or we can fight them. So we're just going to fight them. Hell yeah. <gasps> and they're just going to choose to declare war, are they? Would they choose to declare? Oh. <gasps> Why are you guys say that and I'm actually not spreading them out? What am I doing, Dave? 
prepare them. The good thing about not selecting a national focus is you can pick a continuous focus at any time. Are they pushing in here? It's almost like the AI knows that our, reinf um, our reinforce here is trash. I don't like it when I have to win by grinding their front line over and over again for a long period. As long as we can connect here and start pushing northwards, I'll be in there. I'll be happy. Concentration is maxed out right now as I'm trying to micro as effectively as I can. I'm trying to move over my division so they'll reinforce quicker than the crappy Yemenese ones. There we go. Okay, now hopefully we should be able to push along the river. All right, not as smooth this is as I would have hoped, but I'm making the most. This pretty much should be the end of them. I don't think they'll be able to counter from this point. Ooh, we managed to do a counter attack here, and they're actually uh, holding quite well too. Gotta be careful if they split me here; it's going to cause me a lot of problems. There we go. The Romanians have fallen. All right, we weren't able to like make the most of an encirclement there, but I think they've lost so many divisions. Let's have a look at the manpower loss. This one. I haven't called Yemen in yet. 400 casualties lost, and I've lost 57. I like how they just casually walk in through the center. I'm gonna grab Sophia. Go on, grab Sophia. Oh, he's not going for Sophia. What are you doing, dude? I completely forgot about Serbia. You have got nothing. Man, that sucks, man. It feels like you gain trade traits in Kaiserreich slow. I'm not sure if it's been adjusted, but it just kind of feels that way. Are you kidding me? You're right. I, that's really strange. I just automatically get all of Romania. But yet, and now I'm still at war with <laughs> the Serbians. Oh, yeah, there's a separate peace conference for some reason. I don't know why. What? How have they? That was really weird. Anyway, we have fabricated in Austria now, and we'll be at war with them very soon. All right, everything's going pretty good. We need to prepare for this, because this is going to be a really tough war. Oh, at the moment, we're, we don't have enough political power. France has declared war on Germany. We are here at long last, guys. Payments negotiated. I have to do that one now, because I need those consumer goods. Ideally, we want to add a heavy tank on to each one of our artillery infantry divisions. That's what we want to do. Negotiate the payments, and I am simply going to go default again. More power to the local governments, extra stability, and more political power. Oh, that's really good. Oh, oh look at this! <laughs> the United States of Greater Austria. I can't decide if this is in it. This is better for me or worse for me. I can't decide. I'm learning new things here, guys, because I never actually, I never actually got rid of the debt this quickly before. I've never got, never got rid of them this quickly. So I'm like, hey, there we go, and now we can do it, right? Ineffective bureaucracy. A lot of their divisions don't look that great, though. They're, they're not any... They can't see any tanks. They have 62, and they have... 225. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> look, they've got unpaid Ottoman debts. They've got it, too. <laughs> All right, let's do this. And go, and then we're going to declare war. Oh, actually, they might not join. That would be a massive pain in the ass. Oh, actually, I should have redrew the fallback lines, couldn't I? Oh, but there's still the gaps between the fallback... Never mind, okay. Come on, guys, we need you guys on the front line. These are our main attackers. All right, we've actually managed to retreat in quite an organized fashion. I'm actually not really happy how that went. Oh, my God, this is beautiful. Oh, my God, this is beautiful. <laughs> there we go. That's what I wanted to see. And that's a lot of Austrian divisions. Oh, yeah. And one of the things that's quite annoying is late game lag. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select a minor nation. Let's just say, ooh, let's say Haiti. And we are going to annex the whole world. So we're using the annexing tool, we're going to annex, and we're going to mark countries with the shift and R. Anyway, we're back to the main game now. Hey, you want to see the final episode? We have the main factions. We have the Entente, the Third International, and the Reich Pact. Um, 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 and then we're going to attack into here. Why is this snaking, boys? Need to make sure they don't grab ports, because that's going to give them supply from the rear. And I want to try and thrust through the center here and take them out. And okay, so they have access to the port here. That's the only one. All right, we need you guys on aggressive now, actually. Well, in a weird way, this has kind of gave us opportunities later on, because we've actually eliminated a large chunk of their army here, haven't we? Oh, look, the, uh, the Albanians are back. Nice. This is something to do, but I don't recommend doing it now. We should have gone for... These are the few mistakes I made in this game, guys. I should have gone for extensive conscription a lot earlier. I think at this moment in time, right this very second, this is like the perfect time to attack them. Did they just... You are joking me. They just attacked just as we liberated them, and then they got dissolved. Okay, there should be enough firepower now. We're in a really good spot, too, because we got max air control, too. How are we doing for supplies now? Oh, everything's going great. Perfect. We need to get more guns, because we need to get more cavalry. 
So we are making, a, the minute they change the service by requirement here, they're going to get a flood of stronger divisions that are going to be able to counterattack me. Look at this gap in the front line here, that really worries me. Okay, there's absolutely nothing in the center. <laughs> what is going on? Here and here. <laughs> this is not how I planned this would go. Well, I might as well just end this here. Grab all the cities. This is what happens when it, literally all their empire is a core. We did it. It's done. Got most of the war score as well. So, I'm trying to think how I should take land here in what order. Maybe we should try and make a buffer around the outside. Okay, that's it. Done. Have they taken anything? No. There we go, we've got everything. Perfect. Voila! That was beautiful, because that's actually the borders that I wanted at the end of the game. Look at that, guys. How beautiful is that? Oh! So at this point in the game, you'd probably go for political interests. My advice would be to dissolve parliament, eliminate all opposition. Be aware there is a chance if you do choose to side, uh, if you choose to ignore the rioters and the protests, you may result in a coup. Um, possibility. Aware of that. But there you go, guys. Look at this almighty Ottoman Empire. How beautiful is it? And I must admit, this is a lot, lot faster than it would have previously if I'd not and axe the world as Haiti. And they still only have zero divisions with 330 military factories. <laughs> and they've changed to extensive conscription too. <laughs> ah, brilliant. And they, have they got any manpower as well? Yeah, they have 1.61. Well, there you go, guys. Not only have you learned how to make an enormous, exploity, cheaty Ottoman Empire that is scary when it comes down to its political power and influence, but to top it off as well, uh, you have learned a way of speeding the game up. And this is a method that I have used quite a few times in multiplayer games. I load up a save game in 1936 and I've annexed all of the Americas and probably some of the Middle East as well. Some of the nations that usually remain neutral. And then we have a mutual gentleman's agreement that none of us fabricate on that nation and we just ignore it for the full game. And it usually makes multiplayer games, the middle eight game, a lot more pleasant. Guys, if you've made it to the end of this video, why don't you just say thank you by hitting that like button? Huh? Why don't you do that? And why don't you just drop a comment and say, Dave, man, you know what? I actually enjoyed this video. It was actually kind of cool. I learned something. I'm educated now. Why don't you do that? Huh? Huh? And why don't you just ring-a-ding-ding -ding my bell, boy? Boy, ring-a-ding-ding -ding that bell. All right, you get the drift. And also, if you don't want to go the extra mile and support me further to make more content in the future, you can also... Uh, give me uh, some money on Patreon. My long-term plan is if I do get enough money on Patreon, I will use that money to hire an editor and we're just going to do lots of jump cuts in the videos to make them more condensed and therefore more viewer-friendly. That's kind of the long-term goal. But apart from that, I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, boys. Bye-bye.